Callum 30, I exalt you, O Lord. A song, a song at the dedication of the house of David. I will exalt you, Hashem, for you have raised me up. You have not suffered my enemies to rejoice over me. Hashem, my God, I cried to you and you healed me. O Hashem, you brought me up. You brought my soul up from Shoal. You did keep me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. Sing praise to Hashem. He is godly. He is the godly one. And give thanks to his holy name, for his anger is but a moment, his favor for a lifetime. Weeping may come for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Now that I had said in my security, I will never be moved, you had established, Hashem. In your favor, my mountain as a stronghold. You hid your face, and I was afraid. To you, Hashem, did I call, and to Hashem I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Will dust praise you? Will it declare your truth? Hear Hashem and be gracious to me. Hashem, be my helper. You turned my mourning into dancing. You loosed my sackcloth and girded me with gladness so that my glory may sing praise to you and not be silent. Hashem, my God, I will give thanks to you forever and ever. Amen. Calum 121 A Song of the Ancients I will lift up my eyes to the mountains from where my help comes from. My help comes from Hashem, who made heaven and earth. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. He that keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he that keeps Yeshurel never slumbers nor sleeps. Hashem is your guardian. Hashem is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Hashem will keep you from all evil. He will keep your soul. Hashem will guard you. He'll guard your going out. He'll guard your coming in. From this time and forevermore. Amen. It is our obligation, it is an obligation for us, it is our pleasure, it is our obligation, us, to praise the Lord of all, to render greatness to the former of creation, for he has not made us like the other nations of the lands, nor set us to be like the families of the earth, no. Who has not given our portion like theirs? No. And our lot like their masses that bow down to vanity and emptiness. And pray to a God that does not save? No. But we bow down before the King of Kings, the Supreme King of Kings, the Holy Blessed One. Blessed be He. He stretches out the heavens and laid the foundation of the earth and his glorious seat is in the heavens above, and the presence of his might in the most exalted heights. He is our God, and there is no other. In truth, our King, there is no one except him, as it is written in the Torah. This day, know and lay it to your heart that Hashem, he is God, in the heavens above and on the earth beneath, there is no one else. Therefore, we hope in you, Hashem our God, soon to see your glorious might to remove idols from the earth and all the non-gods will be wholly cut down to ratify the world with the kingdom of El Shaddai 
and all the children of flesh will call on your name, and all of the earth's wicked will turn to you. All that dwell on earth will understand and know that you, you alone are God. And every knee must bend, and every tongue will then swear. Before you, Hashem our God, may all kneel and fall and give honor to your glorious name. And they will all accept the yoke of your kingdom, your commandments, your presidents, your laws and ordinances. And you may speedily rule over them forever. For dominion is yours, and forever you will reign in glory, as it is written in your Torah. Hashem will reign forever and ever. For it is said, Hashem will be king over all the earth. And on that day, Hashem will be one, and his name will be one. Echad. Amen. The prayer of Hannah. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart exalts you, Hashem. My horn is exalted in Hashem. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies because I rejoice in your salvation. There is none as holy as Hashem, for there is none beside you. Neither is there any rock like our God. Do not multiply exceedingly proud speech. Do not let arrogance come out of your mouth. For Hashem is a God of knowledge. Yes. And by Him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty men are broken. And they that stumble are girded with strength. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread, and they that were hungry have ceased. While the barren has bore seven, that she had many children has languished. Hashem kills and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and brings up. Hashem makes poor and he makes rich. Hashem brings low and he lifts up. He raises up the poor out of the dust. He raises up the needy from the dunghill to make them sit with princes and inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are Hashem, and he has set the world on them. He will keep the feet of his holy ones. But the wicked, oh the wicked, the wicked will be put to silence in darkness, for not by the strength will men prevail. They that strive with Hashem will be broken into pieces. Against them he will thunder in heaven. Hashem will judge the ends of the earth and he will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Amen.